Hi, I'm Kathy Goodson with Goodson Vintage Treasures. Watch this video to see how to take a plain styrofoam snowman form and turn him into an elegant snowman with great snowman details using IOD molds and stamps and IOD clay and DIY paint. He's a cutie. All the products you've seen in this video are available at GoodsonVintageTreasures.com. IOD products are available on Etsy as well as the snowman form. First I made sure my little carrot nose would go in the right spot. The styrofoam forms come with a carrot nose available on my website GoodsonVintageTreasures.com and on Etsy. I'm using IOD art clay and I'm going to sprinkle cornstarch on my rolling mat so my clay doesn't stick. I'm going to roll it out like dough. I want it to be very thin. So I warmed it up in my hands a bit and then I used an old rolling pin to roll it. I rolled it quite thin and I'm going to mold it around the snowman's head to start with. The cornstarch keeps it from sticking. took out his nose so that it wouldn't go across his nose. I'm going to press it down on his head, smoothing the wrinkles out with my hands. IOD art clay is very soft and easy to mold and smooth. I continued to do the other parts of the snowman the, the same method, rolling the clay out and pressing it onto the snowman. I did not use any glue for this part. My rolling pin got a little sticky, so I just put a little bit of cornstarch on it. Continue to fit the thinly rolled out art clay onto the snowman's body, smoothing out the joints until I had the whole snowman covered. I pressed the pieces together and smoothed out the seams where they joined. Filling in with small pieces as needed as I went toward the bottom. Again, always rolling it thin. You could cover this with completely with molds if you decided to. But I was going for a different look. Piecing the pieces together and smoothing the joints. Next, I took my Kind Disregard stamp, also available at GoodsomeVintageTreasures.com and on my Etsy shop, Goodsome Vintage and I pressed it into the snowman's head, middle, and bottom. I wanted the wording to be pressed into his clay for a different look. I continue to press all the way around his body. This is a wonderful stamp. Of course, you could use the flower stamp or lots of other stamps to get the same kind of look. And then once I had him all stamped, I reinserted his nose. the spot that needed just a little more wording. There's his nose. That's a little plastic nose that I purchased to go with him. Next I took the wrong end of a paintbrush and I punched little holes, little indentions for his eyes. Then I did the same thing for his mouth, 
making him a snowman smile. I'll go back and paint these black when he's dry. And then I did three buttons on his middle part. I could have stuck some sticks in him at this point for arms, but I decided just to leave the arms off. You could add sticks or you could add clay arms with mittens would be cute. Next, I let it dry for a day and then I added a scarf. I used the Trimmings One Mold, also available at GoodsAndVintageTreasures.com and in Etsy, and I pressed clay into one of the molds. I used my rolling pin to flatten it out. You could use your hands. And then I used my putty knife to get a nice clean edge. These molds have a raised micro rim that makes it very easy to get a nice clean mold. And then I used that for my scarf. I did glue this part on with tight bond quick and thick. It's my favorite glue for molds. And I needed another little piece, so I made another little piece and up two more small pieces for the hanging down part of the scarf. Again, using my putty knife to make a nice clean edge. Now he had a few cracks as he dried. Art clay will make some cracks. And because I molded this around round surface, I just took some more of the clay. This is one day after it dried and filled in the cracks with the clay. pretty good, doesn't he? Here he is, all with his words and his scar and his little patching. There's still a few little cracks in him, but I, that doesn't bother me. Next, I painted him white with White Swan DIY paint, which you can also get at goodsandventuretreasures.com or at the Picket Fence Antiques and More in Newton, North Carolina. I painted the whole thing white. nice bright white. Then I went back and painted his scarf with old 57 once the white was dry. Now you could use clear wax and dark wax to go in those little indentions or some patina but I wanted him to be a clean snowman not a dirty dingy snowman. I took little black dress. I used the same way I made the holes. I used the wrong end of the paintbrush to paint the little circles. Covered in his mouth with the black paint into the indentions I made earlier, and his eyes and his buttons. When he was completely dry, I used a coating of Big Top, our finish, to give him a nice sealed look. also use wax. Doesn't look cute. Big top. I love how he turned out. He went from an ugly foam form to a cute snowman. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Goods and Vintage Treasures and like this video. Ring the bell too.